I don't even think we understand the level of masochist, masochism that we're <laughs> about to embark on. Oh my goodness. These portages are serious. Some serious rock climbing business here. Oh, I'm caught in a tree. Abandoned the canoe for a minute. It's beautiful here because it's very, very rocky. Uh, Emma pulls. We don't want to let her off leash because she might jump in. It's very strong current. That stretch was really difficult. Um, James had to put the canoe down for a bit and help me with Emma. Um, I mean, it's just difficult for an animal and a human, even two humans, to be taking terrain at the same pace or like with a six foot lead difference. And obviously she's faster than I am at rock climbing and scaling rocks. Um, so anyways, he's better at holding her and without the canoe on his head. Cause I've also got this very heavy day pack on my front and this on my back. So everything, every time I move, I'm like all, you know what I mean? It's like, um, your center of balance is off because of the weight on your back and on your front. And every time you step, it's difficult to steady yourself. So with her also kind of pulling me at wrong times when I'm stepping down, anyway, I'm not gonna keep going on about it. It's, it's kind of dangerous. So I, ideally, obviously we can let her off to do those kinds of things. She doesn't understand how strong the current is. So she's hot. She might want to hop in. There we go from here. We're not done yet? Uh, We're gonna put your bag on? A little bit further? Yeah. No, I'm just gonna carry the canoe the rest of the way. Oh, okay. Okay, so I thought James went back to just get the canoe, which was just, you know, right there. And I was like, wow, what's taking him so long? I'm worried. I almost went and looked for him. And what did you go and do? I went back to the beginning to go see the waterfalls. The part that we couldn't see, because it kind of wraps around. And I thought we'd be able to see it from the portage, but we didn't. And it was just eating away at me. I was like, I gotta see it, because who knows if I'll ever be back here again. So I ran back and looked at it. So you took off. I took some video. <laughs> Yeah, so you can show, see it I'll show you the video. I, I was worried. I almost went looking for you. Yeah. I thought maybe you were fishing. I tried to be fast. 
but it's pretty rugged, so. Yeah, well, I'm glad you didn't hurt yourself trying to be fast. Yeah. All right, well, let's go. I hear some rapids. Ah. Oh, it's so hard on the hips. Yeah. All the rocks. Be careful. How do you like tomogamy? I like it. My back doesn't like it. Yeah. Come on. Go. Hop. 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 Good girl. Sit. Sit down. Make space for me. That's my seat. Never-ending rocks. Okay, somehow James is like a cat on these things with a canoe on his head. And I'm like Bambi with broken legs. Okay, so after we did Helen Falls, James wanted to do five more portages today. I was like, no. He was like, I think we can do more. I think we can do the two plus the three and camp at the base of Bridalville Falls. We'll ask him what he thinks when we finish this portage. This is the Lady Evelyn River, but it splits here. So yeah, so right here, it goes one way, and then it goes down that way too. And that's where we're supposed to go. But if you want, we can try to find a campsite on this lake here. Catherine? Yeah, this, this is, is Catherine. Catherine. Yeah. It's quite pretty. So okay. you wanted to keep going and do three more portages, yes? Yeah, we would do one, two, three, four more portages. Four more. Shortish ones. Just like the last shortish ones that we did. Yeah, it's 3 p.m. So there's someone at that site on the left. See a canoe. So it looks like James might get his wish and we might push further. Just because the other site is like right across from that one and there's also these shady ones and like i don't know if i have a choice obviously not trying to stay on a small lake with the only other person in tomogamy right now because <laughs> we've seen no one this is the portage we just did there's actually a campsite right on it 
we'll check it out. So this is the site right on the portage at Catherine Lake. It's very nice, but I mean, I've never stayed on a site right on a portage before. So what have we decided? We're staying. We're staying here. It's wonderful. On Catherine Lake. Right at the mouth of Lady Evelyn. And look at it. It's picturesque. It's beautiful. We don't want to keep moving on because there are not that many sites um, in between here and where we would want to go. It could be taken as well. And then, you know, we're going to lose light and it's dangerous. it's dangerous. It's just dangerous. Also, I think our dog is tired. Yeah. And you know, everything we do, we do for her. That's enough. So my air mattress has a rip in it that I repaired last night with duct tape. I mean, it happened earlier, but I didn't want to send it away to get fixed. So it happened earlier in the year. Um, but it wasn't deflating very quickly. Like by the morning I would be like a little flatter, which is not a big deal. But the first night I actually had to pump it three, four times. So then I thought, oh, I'll use some of this duct tape that I had and try and patch it and then roll this up really tight. And it worked because by the morning it was still, it was just slightly deflated, but it was fine. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What'd you say? It's creamy. It's creamy? It's beef. It's beef? And noodles. For $16 each. This is like restaurant prices here. I know. With these dehydrated meals. Oh, they're so convenient. You should just make our own. We gotta get a dehydrator. Yeah, or... we need to get on that. So, Buddy Sloth went for a swim today. And he's drying off by the fire. <laughs> Why are you filming me? <laughs> Do you have anything to say about Mr. Sloth? No. Okay. Well, he, I do have one thing to say. What? He had an ember here. Oh. And I had to pull it off. You saved his life? Right. It was glowing right there. <laughs> he had a crotch fire? Mm. <laughs> oh dear. Ready for bed? Good night. Good morning. Hey. <laughs> Did you sleep good?
It was pretty warm yesterday, last night. My warmest night. First portage is right around the corner. Seems like every portage starts with balancing on rocks. Perhaps if the water levels were higher, there'd be fewer of them, but I don't think so. I think they'd probably just be wetter. These are the canoes we saw at the other site from Catherine. Okay, so we just saw two canoes from Cabin Falls parked at the end of this portage. On the other side of it, we're coming into the lake where Cabin Falls is. Wow, so beautiful and rocky. Yeah, the wind's just picked up like crazy. Oh, it's a tailwind right now. It's Hap and Andrea's Eco Lodge. fall color. It's definitely a little colder today than yesterday. Coming up on a beautiful campsite. Lots of fall color right now. Whoa. Oh, wow. You gotta, you gotta see this.
we just climbed down there from the top left down challenging Always looking for rocks. It's the theme of this trip. Rocks. This is the site we were gonna try and make it to last night. But we're glad we didn't because that was quite a bit of work and it does look not dog friendly to stay here. I mean, yeah, a lot of good pirates. Long way down. ever. Oh. Okay. It's hard. Just climb down that section there. It's pretty difficult. I mean, for me, it was difficult. Everything seems fairly easy for James. But this is a difficult one.
11 days. That's not bad. It's been three and a half hours. That's not bad. Mm. We could have made it to that bridal bridal girl falls camping in two hours. Yeah. And so we would have been there at five. Yep, we would have been fine. The danger was if it was taken. Then we we got to the cabin falls at golden hour. That's true. In the sun. Should we have done it? Should we have? I don't know. Onsite? No, because if that site was taken, then we would have had to go back to cabin falls. Yeah. Plus, I think it would have been scary with Emma and noisy at night. Yeah. You know, I think we made the right choice. Yeah. That campsite was much more. If we were to do it again, I would probably opt to stay on track. Mm-hmm. Although I don't know why. That's easier now. <laughs> that section is pretty difficult. So this portage uh, takeout is extremely close to the Fat Man Falls, um, and it's it's really quick moving water. There's a lot of water going down that narrow channel, so the current is really strong. So if you're not paying attention, it's bad news. These trees are all the way down there, like 50 feet or more, growing up. And it's crazy. It is crazy, and you know what? I don't like heights. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> I don't like heights, it's true, and I take my sweet time through this, but it's better to be safe.
very steep. It's like going down a ladder almost. It is like going down a ladder. A very janky ladder that you have no trust in. This is beautiful. Lunch time. So there are some rapids coming up that we're a little nervous about because we don't want to do any rapids and there aren't portages around those ones or they're not marked anyway to have a portage around them. Um, we were actually going to do a different route. Uh, not this route. We were going to do a much easier route without rivers and so forth. So we didn't really plan or do much research on these rapids. So we're going to go have a look. We're gonna go have a look at the rapids. Well, they're not here, it's after this. Yeah, but we've been worried about them for a while. We don't even have proper paddles. We're, we have big water paddles. Yeah. So we just kind of last minute decided to go and see this route. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to do this route at first a long time ago, but we thought we might need more time. So then we switched to a, a different route and we were going to do that one. But then we switched this to this one last minute. Best canoe access portage. I can't speak anymore. I don't even know what I'm saying. Beach. I do remember looking at the try and walk it along shore over these rapids where there's no portage. We're just not equipped to do rapids and we're not gonna risk it. crazy low, so I don't know how I'm gonna get through the rest of this. So we, <laughs> we made it through the rapids, the last rapids, and we even skipped a portage? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we, we skipped everything. We did all the rapids. It was great. Epic. And we saw the first people we've seen in days. Right as we were doing the rapids. In a boat. <laughs> so we were debating whether or not we should do the two point something K portage back into Diamond Lake, where we stayed our first night, uh, to have a bit of an easier day tomorrow. But uh, we're done, we're tired. This is a beautiful sight. Um, we're right next to the portage for tomorrow morning. So we'll just start our day really early and get it done first thing. Have a bit of a longer day tomorrow. It's only 2.25 
Um, so we're gonna enjoy the day. My hair hurts. I'm wearing a hat all the time. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If this is good, we're set. We're done. Wet. Always. Never catch a break with birds. Really old. They don't normally don't get that big. It's kind of cool. You should get a video of that. It looks, it looks like a pine from down here. But it's poplar. Yeah. And the trunk changes, bark yeah. starts yeah. at the bottom. It looks almost like black walnut or even like a white pine trunk. Like if I was walking through it, I would just assume that was white pine. And you look up, it's poplar. It's crazy. All right, just hauling these two logs back to camp. While James goes and looks for some more, see what else is out there. If there's anything better, I'm just gonna haul it back. They're big, eh? It's like a 10 foot wingspan, at least. Huge. Yeah. It's a lot of wood. It's good. Enough for a few hours. Good. It's supposed to be minus one again tonight, no? Yeah, the cheese would stick to the spoon, which was irritating, but it made it better. Yeah. This looks kind of, I don't know, this doesn't look amazing. I totally changed it. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I don't know. It's good. It tastes a little different to me than the old one. Um, I feel like the cheese, there's no cheese that you can see. It's like mixed in there, which is great because pork is not getting all cheesy. But flavor-wise, I mean, James likes it. Like, the season's the same. I think it's, like, a little bit different than the old one. James says that mine tastes different than his. Yeah. Because he just tried some of mine, which I'm not really liking at all. And he had a different one. Huh. 
It tastes different. Mm -hmm. Guys, one is good, one is not that good. Are they like, is there a lot number? January 2051. Same with me. My lot is 21009. Same with me. Did you like mix yours properly? Yeah. Good night. Good morning. Oh, it's all misty. Ready to go? Now to start the day with a huge portage. Are you ready for the portage? I'm more ready now than I was yesterday at the end of the day. That's for sure. I had nothing left yesterday. Wow, look at that campsite. It's perfect. I loved it. I think it was one of the nicest ones we've ever stayed at. It'd be nice to come in the summer, but I bet it's really popular in the summer. Yeah. The colors are coming out. Yeah. We were a bit early for Tamagami. It's mostly poplar that changes color. There's a few maples kind of peppered in, but it's mostly poplar. So you only get the yellow colors and it's pretty late, usually mid-October.
at the top. We're taking a break at the top? Yeah. Oh boy, let's go. Go, oh, little mountain goat, go. Look at the colors up there. Oh yeah, that was a big climb. Oh. We're at the top. We're at the top. Oh. Okay. Let's eat. Let's eat a cliff bar. <laughs> Wolf or bear scat? It might be bear. It's pretty big. This is the same place we saw the grouse on our way in. Saw three grouse here on the way in and two just now. So, so. Yeah, so this is exactly where we saw the grouse last time. Right? Yeah. It's very grossy. Okay. Emma, come stay on path. Stay on the their shoe. Why did they leave it here? Oh, I went in. You, you see that? You went in? Step in that mud. Okay. It's lower? Yeah. Yeah, clearly everyone just keeps going. Yeah. Going, <laughs> canoeing through that was really difficult. And kind of stupid, I guess. We didn't know this was here. Good 
growling at us. I know. <laughs> Leaving the park boundary. Yeah, see how much higher it is on this side? Oh wow. If you were to if this dam were to go, it would go up to that level. Are you able to pull it out more? Yeah. Definitely doesn't look as windy as when we came in. Last portage, except for the one to get to the car. You see a trail? No. Not that way. Taking a little hike off of the portage to climb a mountain. <laughs> it's supposed to be a lookout somewhere up this way. Hmm. Optional climbing that we're opting in for. Oh yeah. The climb.
This way. Oh, wow. Wow. That was worth the extra climb. I think it's a little higher. Higher? Yeah. Mm. over there is higher. You should go to that lookout. <laughs> I'm done climbing today. There is actually quite a bit of color this way. Mm -hmm. The extra hike was worth it. Definitely worth it. swim Is that good? Oh, is that good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ready to get in the car. <laughs> wow. Just got to find something to roll on. Not on these rocks. And get a concussion. Knock yourself out. Oh yeah, I forgot. You're not muddy yet. Then you'll be ready to get in the car. Good trip. Best trip. Hardest trip we've ever done to date. Best trip we've ever done. Funny how that works out. Seems higher when you're up there. I feel like we climbed higher than that. Maybe, maybe that's <laughs> like the first of the cliff. Yeah, we were all the way up there. On the cliff.
Hi, Tamagami. You were good to us. Are you going to go home?